Adobe added a feature to this new Photoshop update that totally blew my mind. Let's check it out. All right, guys, this is something that really blew my mind. So we are in Photoshop. Let me look at the version, uh, Photoshop version we have here. It's 25.9.0. It's release 25.9.0. Uh, if you don't know how to check that, go to help about Photoshop and we'll bring it up. So we're going to create an image from scratch here using a prompt. Okay, so uh, first thing we do, we create a new image. Control N here and I'm going to create an image that is 300, 3000 wide by 2500 um, height. I'm going to keep it a 372 resolution and there you are. So here we have it. Uh, and here, if you look at your toolbar, on the left here, the last tool here is the generate image. That's the new tool that Photoshop, uh, Adobe added to Photoshop. So I'm going to click on it. And now I just enter the prompt that I have here. So let's, let's, start, let's start something simple. Uh, I'm going to say create uh, an image of a beautiful woman sitting on the on a sandy beach during sunset sunset all right so that's my prompt so i have two choices i can create a more realistic or i can create a more artistic uh so i'm going to go to art right now uh reference image here we're going to we're going to come back with that later uh and there, i have a few effects here that i can use uh so we're going to go with the boca because I think it fits the image, right? Uh, we're hoping to get a lady sitting on a sandy beach with the sunset on the background. So that, uh, I think boca effect will be really cool. And you just hit generate. Uh, keep in mind, this is a, a, a very young technology, AI for Photoshop. So um, it's still developing, but I think as young it is and I, as good it is working, look at that. I mean... It, it, yeah, it, it is cartoonish, it is illustration-like, but come on, that's pretty good. And it gives like, as I always give like three choices, three options. So that's number two, and that's number three. Look at that. that I, I think I, it really blew my mind. I can regenerate it, but just by click on the, on the generate button there. And let's see what it creates. I want to go back to what, to this image later, but let's see what's going to create here. So one thing that you need to be aware with AI are, are the um, hands. It doesn't do well with hands. Look, right? It doesn't doesn't do too well um, with hands yet. So you got to be careful with that. Always watching for those details if you're going to use it. This one's not perfect, but it's not that bad neither. But it's still not there yet uh, no right so and what caught my eye was this one here i guess yeah the hands kind of wicked there but if you think of this as a new technology that i mean a young technology for photoshop i think it's pretty mind-blowing that we're doing this way now it creates on a separate layer so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, it's not going to damage your image or anything. So you just dump that layer and, and do something else. All right, cool. So let's let's create another one. Uh, I want to show you when you use a reference image. Let's click over here and just say, um, create an image of a male, of a man, um, editing images, sitting on a desk. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but on his desk, editing images in Photoshop. And for this one here, we're going to create photo, try to get something more realistic, and we're going to use a reference image. We're going to use, so we can use any of these here that they have on, uh, on, uh, as an option, but you can also upload one of your images. So I'm going to upload this image of mine here, and let's see what the heck it does with it. Uh, and for effects, I'm going to go bokeh again. Let's see. I have no idea what it will come up with. So that, that that's actually a fun game to play. Which, what will come up weird this time? So 
um, let's see, maybe something that we can use. Oh, look at that. And look, the hands are not that bad here neither. Look. Maybe not perfect, but that is pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it created. So let's look at the second choice here. See, I mean, that is pretty slick, I think. Third one. So I like the fact that, um, look at the hand here, not bad, a little bit wider, but not bad at all. Uh, I like the fact that I'm wearing glasses on my, on my image, so he kept the glasses on. Um, so the background bokeh, let's do it, let's, let's generate three more and see what comes up with. This is really, really wild. I love it. Yeah, I mean, there's no there's no reason to fight AI, guys. This is the way everything is going to go. We just have to embrace it. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I like it. It gets different angles, right? Different uh, 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 zoom lens, uh, uh, length and stuff. The pinky looks kind of funny here, but it's not a bad rendering either. Let's look at this one. It's an African-American gent gentleman. Look at that. I mean, the hand is not not perfect but not as bad as we saw on the other ones so what do you think i think it's pretty mind-blowing that you can type something and just come up with an image um maybe i don't know maybe on an old man and this technology still blows my mind but like i, ke I kept saying it's a young technology still has ways to go but i i really think it's going to be useful at least to me as a content creator I mean, uh, sometimes I'm looking for illustrations and, and it's really hard to find. Um, so I, I think this will help me a lot. But I want to know from you, what do you think? You love it? You hate it? Uh, are you concerned about like copyrights? Let me know here in the comments. And as long as you're here, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you get alerted every time I create a new video. I talk to you later. Bye-bye.